Hi everyone, this is Sunet, and in this video I would like to discuss a question that I was asked recently by, by someone, uh, just, you know, in, in conversation, and they asked me, uh, you know, what is, was there, what was the point of my life, what was the point of what I was going through, you know, was there any reason for it? No, but they, they asked me in, in such a way, you know, with this, this really um, deep sadness, you know, as though they, they in a way felt forsaken, you know, in, in their life experience based on, on, on the things that they had gone through. And, I mean, this individual had an exceptionally challenging life. And I just looked at them. And, I mean, for me, oftentimes as well, it is... It's difficult to to hear people speak, you know, um, about their life and, and the experiences that they've gone through. Difficult in in the sense that, you know, um, some people's lives make you make you wonder, you know, wow, <laughs> how are you still here? You know, um, still this amazing, wonderful, uh, expressive person, you know, where. You, you wouldn't say, you know, when you get to know them and communicate with them and spend time with them that they, they had the life that they had lived, you know. And um, so there's some moments where they where the past, the memories do come through, you know, and they just looked at me, you know, with tears in their eyes saying, was there a reason for this all, you know. Um, and... So in that moment, you know, there's always sometimes a moment where I want to also kind of shift into that emotion and, and that sadness and, you know, what it is that they're going through. But let's take a deep in-breath and an out-breath and I hold myself stable and grounded because, I mean, this is also an interesting point, you know, now that we're doing this video in um, how the mind works in your relationship with other people, you know, that the person was emotional, you know, um, because of the memories and the remembrances and things that were coming up. And we often think that, you know, to support or help another person, you have to become equally as emotional, you know, or also access those emotions. Um, when in fact, it is actually more supporting the memories, the remembrances, the emotions, the experiences, the bad within it all. You know, because now you're becoming emotional and they're emotional and now you're feeding off of each other's emotional experiences and remembrances and memories and the bad. When support is actually connecting to the being. What does connecting to the being mean? I mean, our being within ourselves is actually quite stable, calm, grounded. So the moment I just took a breath because I could feel, you know, part of me wanting to also shift into that emotional state. Um, many will find that that's still happening in your process. I mean, it's still, even though you walk through the mind and have transcend, transcended many dimensions of the mind, you know, there's still a lot of the mind programmed into your being, into your body, where your responses to people and things will almost become natural and automatic. But you know, with processing yourself through the mind, you're able to stop and direct those moments a lot faster in a quantum moment, like I did, for example. You know, so I didn't allow myself to go into that emotional state. I instead breathed because remembering I was remain stable and grounded here for this being, for who they are as a being, the potential that they are as a being. So I kept myself grounded and stable, and I spoke to them in an equally grounded, calm um, stable manner and I said to them look rather than looking at your life through through emotion or your memories or your past experiences in this state of disempowerment that you are now this ideal belief that you've been forsaken in some way or another for a moment you know look through the eyes of, of, of yourself your being and rather than asking the question of what is the reason for everything rather ask the question what can I learn from everything um, what has my life taught me and within what I can learn how can I impart that knowledge that realization the wisdom onto others as well you know it's extraordinary with um, the people I've walked with these these last years you know how many others I meet who's had so many similar life experiences. It's amazing. 
um, almost as though on, on, a, on a mind level, you know, they, they could have been twins. <laughs> so, you know, I, I look at this principle in, in my own life as well. I mean, I could have also very easily gone into a victimized, disempowered state in relation to my life experiences before I started portaling, before my process started. But instead, uh, fortunately, you know, in my process, I had the opportunity to rather look at my life in a way of how can what I have walked and I still am walking, what can I learn from it to not only support and contribute to my life, but to others as well. I mean, there's a major difference then that happens, you know, because instead of going into that, that state of, of questioning your life in victimization and disempowerment, and we meeting each other in that victimization and disempowerment, like this is almost what all of us are doing, you know, we're we're coming to one another in this victimized, disempowered state, this emotional state, this burdened state of, you know, this is who I am and how I am and what my life has been like. And then, you know, we kind of cry together and sad together and emotional together. And that's not helping anyone. We're not actually learning from our lives and becoming more because of it, becoming better, reaching our utmost potential. So rather than us meeting each other with emotion, meet each other with awareness stand together in a way of assisting and supporting each other to learn from our lives and each other's lives, to learn from our mistakes, our failures, the way that our life had been lived and had gone in a way that empowers ourselves and each other. All right. So therefore, if you find yourself looking at your life through, through the eyes of, um, you know, the, what was the reason for it? Rather take a breath, empower yourself with the question, what can I learn from my life to contribute to my personal development and so also the personal development of others. All right. Thank you very much.